Let's get started with a trip to Batesville, Indiana. We spoke to Lisa Hudson. She owns the High Viz, a family operated uniform business. Exporting is a big, expensive part of the High Viz biz. Lisa signed up for an export loan. Many U.S. banks view such loans for exporters as risky, making it harder for the businesses to export to get them. Day to day operations, advance orders for suppliers, and refinancing existing debts. To ease the risk, the U.S. Small Business Administration created programs to provide lenders with up to a 90% guarantee on export loans. For some, then, the SBA-backed loans may be a game-changer. Just ask Lisa. This is Business Equity and Opportunities. Getting started. So we are a custom uniform and apparel business, but much more than that. Um, we're kind of shaking things up and really focusing on people so that we understand and know that what we wear means way more than just putting on something. Everybody matters. It doesn't matter who you love. It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter what size you are. You matter. So being able to provide first in an underserved population of women in manufacturing, they're still what we're wearing men's clothing and there weren't a lot of maternity options. To be able to first see that and then build out after that and realize that, wait, there's it's not just women, it's not just women who are pregnant, it's men, it's non-binary, it's just people need things, not only be, to make them feel comfortable and confident and allow them to do a better job, but also for safety reasons as well. So um, I've spent the past 20 something years raising kids. <laughs> um, my husband and I have five kids. He um, worked as a cardiovascular ICU nurse. Um, he now works for me. <laughs> but um, I, around the pandemic, I was fighting breast cancer. And just with facing death and realizing even more, it even made me realize more who I was. So decided in January 2022 that I was going to start a business and really dug deep, like looked into all the things, realized that we could, I could become a women certified business and that it, I could take what was being crafting, like me doing spirit wear off of my Cricut machine in the basement and like take it to another level to really make a business out of it and did all of the work to get my women in certificate, did the three hour interview the whole process, jumped through all the hoops and got my women owned, my disadvantaged business um, uh, certificate. And then very quickly was going to procurement fairs. At this time they were still online. I was in a Minnesota procurement fair all week, just listening to every single thing that was, that I could learn, just soaking up because I love today. I love learning new things. And um, met at the end of the week, there was a large panel of businesses and I asked each one of them, I thought, you know, the worst they can say is no. So I'm just going to put myself out there. Is there a place for us? And at this point, we didn't know if we were uniform. We are high vis because I thought maybe road workers because of the state. And then there could be some DBE dollars that could be available. Every one of the companies said, no, 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 no. And Cargill, Natalie McGrady from Cargill said, you know what? Let's see if we can find a place for you. The next day, I'm on the phone with executives from Cargill in a meeting saying, coming to them and saying, how can I serve you? What can I do that's not being done to make sure that I took this once in a lifetime opportunity before I got off the phone with them. I said, hey, I'll be in Minneapolis in two weeks with stuff in hand to try on. And that's where the magic began. We brought every size for them to try on. People walked in used to being um, disappointed and they were like it became a party morale went up we had smiles and we've seen this across the entire US because Ardent Mills who is owned by um, Cargill and Canagra we ended up they said hey we would like to talk to high -Vis, and we ended up winning their women's contract for the whole US um, Canada and Puerto Rico so we've been in every single plant we got to see the magic you know, in my basement, I saw this vision. I saw how the whole thing worked. I saw how that even these shelves were gonna work, how the system was gonna work. And to be able to write that vision and take it to Indiana Economic Development and say, hey, they awarded a grant. They believed in my vision too. I got the Smart Manufacturing Grant to make this happen. 
Then we faced um, the Small Business Association, SBA, and the export program has been crucial to making it happen. First Community Bank of Indiana, they believed in me um, when we heard no, 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 and figuring out, okay, well, how do we operate a business of, we had zero capital because we had used all of our resources while fighting cancer. When we had started in, we've gone from January 2022 until August of this year, zero capital. So you can imagine how scary operating at, at this was, but knowing that I'm, we're just gonna figure it out. We're gonna reach out. We're gonna say, hey, we need help. We're gonna say, because I, we believe in what we were doing and we believe in people and that's what it's about. So I have so many, so much support from not only the people that work, but like all the agencies and like really like, it's okay. If I don't know it, I'm not afraid to say it. You know, I don't have, to, I don't know everything. Just being willing to say, you know what? I didn't know that and learn instead of pretending like I, I knew it all. So because we are focused on people, so to our own employees, paying them a good living wage, pay, we pay all of their dental, medical, vision 100% and we do a 401k match because it starts here. And then the people that we serve, they matter worth. And then the planet that we share, we're working toward B Corp status so that we're making a legal commitment to this is how we're gonna do business. I, my goal isn't to be a millionaire. My goal is to leave a legacy. So as we transition toward retirement, it's to make this an employee owned business so that we can't be scooped up by a big business and just be like everybody else. But we're kind of shaking things up and going, the person at the top isn't gonna be making millions while someone barely can feed their family on a minimum wage. Let's build something where everybody can have food and a place to live, and it's not about one person profiting while others are barely getting by. Like, by nature, I'm a coach. I coached college softball, I played college softball, coached college softball at one point, stepped away so that I wanted, I wanted to be a mom. That's what I wanted to do then. But to step back and see my entire team, my husband, my kids, this, my entire team beautifully work together and know that this place and what we're building can have an impact for years to come. The only way this is gonna work is to empower those around. And that's what, so not even my team, but some of the people that I work with, like other women, other men, other business people, when we truly work together, empower one another, instead of just being, and seeing how like, it doesn't have to be one or the other, like we can build each other up. That's what I most, that's what warms my heart. Or seeing someone belong, some place that, well, you know what, they might have trouble fitting in, but they just see and work that magic of making them feel like the world's told them that, you know what, you're not as smart, you're not as this, but for them to see that light bulb go off and go, oh, I don't have to believe that, just because I don't fit in this mold doesn't mean I can't be who I am. And that's what we're really trying to do is to really stand up and support the underserved to know that everybody matters. Without all of us, how, how, does, how does it all get, it doesn't have to be a hierarchy. It can be this beautiful like picture and that's what we're, we're seeing it. We're seeing it happen and come alive. <laughs>